What's going on, y'all? It's the Caveman back at it again with another video. And, you know, last time we did games, this time we're going to do sports. Once again, I'm going to kind of rotate it back and forth. Depending on what the news is throughout the week, what kind of topic I have for the video that I have coming up next. And I'll just kind of play it by ear, play it by how I'm thinking, you know what I mean? Last video, when I talked about sports and the Bills, I talked about the Cardinals game, the Bills vs. Cardinals game. And after the fact, I realized that I lacked to mention Tyler Bass's amazing performance, which I was very unsure how I managed to do that. But regardless, I decided, you know, since I left him out there, I might as well, you know, he's been so good this season for his age, for his, his status in the league as a rookie. He deserves his own whole ass video. He, he just deserves to be recognized in his own video as a whole. This kid is on fire right now. He, all he needed was confidence. He's got the leg. His accuracy is a little shaky, but that just comes with confidence. He's got the leg to kick it about 70 yards. He's got probably one of the strongest legs in the league. All he needs is that confidence. And he's starting to gain that. He's going to be one of the best kickers in the league is he, if he's able to bounce and build on top of the confidence that he has out of this Cardinals game. So let's look at Tyler Bass. He's a 23-year-old rookie drafted out of Georgia Southern in the sixth round. Like I said, he started off shaky. Week one against the Jets, he missed two field goals. I mean, in your very first game against the Jets especially, they were not very far field goals. I'm not sure exactly what they were. But nonetheless, he missed two field goals that you definitely need to hit as an NFL kicker. Granted, we all had to cut him some slack because he's a rookie in the league. You know, you got nerves. Like It's a scary situation. Kicker's already probably the second hardest position in all the sport. And that's just, that's in my personal opinion because of the pressure and the, the mental capacity you need to have to be able to kick in that league. But nevertheless, he started off shaky and people were already on his ass right in the beginning. Then comes weeks two through six where he was not asked to do very much. And when you're a kicker and you are getting limited opportunities, you need to cash in on every single one of those opportunities because you may only get, you know, one or two kicks a game at most. And then if you miss one, then you're 50% on the day. Or say you miss a game winner. Like if you get these limited opportunities, then if you don't hit, then you might not get another opportunity to prove yourself once again. It, it's a very on the spot kind of job. You do not get many opportunities to prove yourself. He kicked five field goals through weeks two through six, which is not that many, only five field goals. And he went four for five. So that's Good enough, you know, it was enough to fly under the radar, but it definitely was not enough to, you know, kind of gain the trust and confidence of Bills fans. People were still, you know, ragging on him after he missed that one kick out of all those weeks. He got ragged on no matter what. The Jets game was still in the back of everyone's mind. He never really got the chance to show what he can really do. And it comes week seven. We play the New York Jets and the Bills offense can't do shit. We are stuttering the entire time. Can't get in the end zone one time. And Tyler Bass comes through and wins the entire game for us. Literally single-handedly, Tyler Bass won that game for us. He kicked six for eight on field goals. Granted, missing those two field goals, obviously the haters are going to find something to nitpick at. Tyler Bass missed those two field goals. is going to be something to pick at. He still won us the game. He still kicked very well. He had his first 50 yard of the year from 53. So you really, that's when he kind of, you know, started to build his confidence. That's when he started to roll and realize he can do this. And he carried it on into the following weeks. Come week eight, you know, after kicking eight field goals or attempting eight field goals in week seven, you go into week eight, he only gets one opportunity. He does cash in. My point is, by mentioning this, is that if he misses that field goal and that's his only opportunity of the game, he's 0 for 1. That's all Bills fans are going to see for that week. That's all the media is going to see. Tyler Bass missed his only attempt of the week. Everybody's going to say, oh, he needs to hit that. He's got one job, all this bullshit. He made it. Got the haters off his back for that one. And then comes on to week nine. Week nine, once again, not perfect. He went three for four. I mean, he, he has yet to make every field goal he has attempted in the game when he has a multiple amount. This week is the same story, but he still kicks three for four. He still does a decent job, still does his job. And you know what? People are still trying to find things to nitpick at this kid. He's a rookie. He just got drafted. He's young. He needs the confidence to build. He's still kicking well. He's still winning us games. He won us the Jets game. Like, this is all I kept saying to people that were hating on Tyler Bass. People that I knew. There were people on Twitter. It was all over the place. Then comes week 10. We play the Arizona Cardinals, which I had just mentioned earlier in this week. I covered that game. For some reason, didn't cover Tyler Bass when he absolutely deserved the cover because he earned it. I mean, he kicked three field goals from 50 plus and he hit them all. Mind you, they were all from 54 plus. He had a 54 yarder, 55 yarder, and a 58 yard field goal. That was the second longest field goal of that week. Matt Prater kicked the 59 yard game winner. He's a veteran, all right? He's a veteran, solidified kicker. That's what we want Tyler Bass to become, a guy like Matt Prater they can always rely on. Tyler Bass, three field goals, all from 54 plus, all in the same quarter. And that's a build, or that's a record, actually. No kicker in NFL history has kicked three 50 yarders all in the same quarter. So Tyler Bass is already making history in his first season. To kick that many field goals from that long is 
very hard to do. And then to hit them all consecutively in a close game when all the pressure's on, that's even tougher. Like that was as close as the game as we had all year. And he hit every single one from 54 plus. That deserves a round of applause. This was the game that officially shut everyone up. This was the game that he was able to prove to everybody, I can do it, I got it, and just fuck off my back, you know what I mean? So as of week 10, going to week 11, Tyler Bass is third in the NFL amongst kickers in points with 86 points on the season. And he currently sits at third most points in Bill's history, Bill's franchise history, by a rookie. So this kid's on pace to, you know, do special things this season already. He's probably going to beat or break the Bills record for most rookie points. I mean, maybe he won't overtake the number one spot for kicker points, but who knows? You never know. I mean, the kid's kicking fantastic. If he keeps getting the number of opportunities he is, he really might take that spot. Not to mention Tyler Bass has also only missed one extra point on the season. Now I get it. You got to hit all your extra points, basically all of your extra points. That's what an NFL kicker, that's basically the most basic thing you can do as an NFL kicker. You got to hit your extra points. And he's done that so far. Regardless of all the issues he might have had in the past, the growing pains that he's coming up with, he has still hit 99.9% .9 of his extra points. And you really can't fault him for that either. Another very good bright spot in this kid's future. Harrison Butker, who is regarded as one of the best kickers in the entire league, missed five. So check that, he's missed six. So, I mean, there are plenty of solidified kickers that are missing more than him. There are plenty of solidified kickers that aren't hitting as many 50 yards as he is. Tyler Bass is doing special things and he's only 23 and he's only a rookie out of the sixth round to come in, steal a job from a veteran like Hauschka and then do as well as he is right now. You gotta, you gotta put support behind this kid in order for him to be successful. And that's what Bill's fans are doing and his confidence is building and he's beginning to flourish. Now the Pro Bowl voting has also begun and I've seen a couple people saying Tyler Bass has been snubbed. Um, I would agree just from a Bills fan standpoint, but at the end of the day, he's 19 from 20 for 25 on the year. That's not the best percentage in the world. I think it's about 75% or so. I don't know what the fuck math is, but regardless, he does not have the best percentage. There are plenty of kickers with better percentages, but he is still kicking very well as a rookie. He's still building confidence. And if he's able to build on what he has done so far, he's definitely going to be able to make that Pro Bowl in the years to come. I hope he's able to build on this confidence that he has made for himself. I hope he's able to continue to make a name for himself in this league. He's really becoming loved by Bills fans. I mean, there's memes being posted everywhere. T-Bass, bro shop, T-Bass kicking ass. All this kind of shit with slogans. I mean, Bass is probably one of the easiest words you can rhyme. And this kid's really engulfing Bills Mafia and becoming a part of what we are here in Buffalo. So I just wanted to make this video. He definitely deserves the recognition. If you agree with like what I'm saying, if you have any comments to make, leave them down below. Like, subscribe, do all that other fun stuff. I will come out with another video tomorrow. I'm going to keep the consistent uploads coming. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.